This is a guide on replacing an LCD screen on an Apple MacBook Pro 13. The battery is not easily removable on this laptop, so we will have to be careful to not power on the machine during disassembly. In order to gain access to the LCD, the front glass needs to be carefully removed. The glass is mounted using 3M double-sided tape, which can be separated under some heat. Tools you will need are a heat gun, flat and a Phillips screwdriver, a flat wide metal tool like a putty knife, and a suction cup. Proceed on heating up the perimeter of the display assembly. Start out by going consistently around the entire bezel. Do not stay in one place for too long and keep the heat gun at a consistent 1 to 2 inches away from the glass. Continue heating the glass for just under 2 minutes, then focus on the top left corner. Set your suction cup close to the corner, then carefully but firmly insert the entire wide edge of the putty knife between the glass and the black rubber gasket. Insert the putty knife about a millimeter in. It is very important to work with the entire wide edge of the knife as any concentrated pressure on the glass, like from the corner of the tool, may shatter it. Once properly inserted, lift the handle up and apply force inwards, moving towards the left corner. Use the suction cup to better grip the display assembly while cutting the glue with a knife. Use the heat gun to keep the glue warm whenever you feel that the knife is not moving easily. Once you have cleared the left corner, insert a couple of pieces of plastic to prevent the corner from adhering back. Then, move on to the top edge using the same technique. Be careful around the webcam area, as there are two pins glued to the underside of the glass to better hold the camera in place. Insert a piece of plastic on the right corner to secure the edge. Once both corners are secure, Use your fingers to apply an outward force on the glass and focus heat on the parts that are still glued in, like the bottom edge. Set the glass aside and move on to 6 LCD screws. 4 identical screws are on the side edges and 2 smaller screws are on the bottom edge. Once all the screws have been removed, lean the panel forward and gently pull up to expose the video connector. The video connector is covered with black tape, as well it is secured with a connector bracket. You will need to unlatch it using your flat screwdriver before completely removing the screen. Take out the new screen and remove the protective film. At this point, there are two options for reinstalling it. You may attempt to slide the screen in, and depending on the length of the video cable, you may manage to successfully reconnect the video cable and latch the bracket. However, we recommend taking the second option by removing the back cover, which is mounted with 10 screws, 3 long ones plus a short one on the bottom edge next to the display hinge, and 6 more identical screws on the sides and the top edge. Unlatching and disconnecting the video cable from the motherboard, unscrewing a silver metal piece fastening the video cable, then a black T-shaped piece mounted with two screws, which is also in the way of the video cable. At this point, you can gain up to an inch of slack in the video cable, which will definitely make connecting the LCD a much more pleasant experience. Just push the cable through towards the hinge, flip the computer around like so, pull out the video cable about half an inch. Then, place the new LCD on the back cover and align the connector with the cable. Using your pick or flat screwdriver, reconnect the video cable and latch the connector bracket. Replace the black tape to further secure the connector. Then, slide the LCD panel in place. Close the computer, then replace the fastening pieces and three screws. And reconnect the video cable back on the motherboard then replace the back cover. At this point, it is highly recommended to test the new screen and connections. Flip the computer over and press the power button. Wait for the Apple logo to appear, 
then press and hold the power button to cancel the boot up. Replace 6 LCD screws, two shorter ones go on the bottom. Replace the front glass by lining it at the bottom edge first, then apply a bit of heat to reactivate the glue, then squeeze the perimeter of the display assembly, and you're done.